Where are you guys? No, fine, no, fine. Where should we park over there? Uh, find a... Somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. This is no. There is no place, unfortunately. No problem. We'll find a place. It's going to be a warm day today, I think. Huh? Another warm day. Hello. A lot of cars. From two to seven, we have authorization on the other roads. Yeah. So that's. Have you seen the other road? Hello. The video. Looks better. Yeah. Italian. Yeah. Italian. Yeah. I cut a little bit shorter and suddenly, oh, like that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Morning. Again. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of my life. We are now in Rome. Uh, it's for the third rally of the European Rally Championship. It's called Rally Rome. Uh, it's warm conditions. We are back to tarmac. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on tarmac now. So coming from Rally Estonia last weekend, uh, it will be uh, quite a big challenge to find the rhythm back on tarmac for a day's test. But I believe that we have two roads of testing today so it should give me enough mileage to, to get the feeling back on tarmac uh, also our test road is not really perfect for the rally but we just have to, to do the best out of it today uh, so the car will probably feel really stiff for the that road but we have to keep in mind that the rally is more like a racetrack very very uh, racy so yeah should be good fun I like tarmac so uh, I'm looking forward for today It will be. So, but we did three runs just to get some mileage on the yeah. tarmac. And yeah, the feeling got better and better for every run, but yeah, just have to get used to the how fast when you can hear the different pace on how much faster you can go because of the grip is so much higher. This is just something that the car everything is working. Yeah, well then that the car is uh, working well. It's like you said, it's quite stiff for that road. It's breaking, turning. Uh, yes, but I would bleed the brakes one more time because yes. for me the brakes yes. are not really good. No, but it's uh, brakes from uh, Estonia. Okay. That we, you know, to finish the car, uh, ah, we yeah. have a new set uh, that we can put. Yeah. But I wanted to put them uh, a little bit later when you, let's say, yeah. find some. Uh, yeah. yeah. We can bleed it now. Yeah. And then uh, we will see what is the plan. Okay. Uh, there is the possibility we already moved now. And then we will see if we can start or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you say we want to do something here, we do one more run here. I don't need to do more here to be honest because it's no. a lot of gravel now and uh, it will be not like the rally here. So no. the sooner we can go there, okay. if that road is better, we should go no. there. But uh, the video you saw, the video of the road. No, so I haven't seen this video. Check the video. We just leave the brakes, check the data, and then the van is ready. Everything is inside there. We yeah. have the parts. Perfect, uh, and then we go. Okay, uh, did three runs. Was uh, difficult to be back on tarmac. Uh, you know, you have to get your head around when you hear the pace note that, you know, the pace notes are the same on gravel, but the speed is so much lower. So here you can go so much faster when you hear the same pace note. So this is just something your mind has to switch a little bit. Uh, but the car was way too stiff for that type of road. But this we knew already from before because that road is much more bumpy than the actual stages will be. So. Uh, this we did a bit on purpose, just to uh, get used to it. So, uh, but I think we have a second road now, which we will switch to as soon as possible, which should be a bit more representative. So let's see. <laughs> you have the last, last road was Opa. terrible. <laughs> it's a good road here? No? Yeah. But it's better than the official, I think. I don't know the official. Boah. The official is our Very narrow. Tick, 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 tick. See? So. 
Robert. Yeah, it's uh, no one on the stage. I can do the recce. Is someone on the right. stage? Ah, Neil is waiting. I will, after yeah. Neil, maybe? We'll make the pace notes after you've been driving then. I guess so. I know that they are changing now the, the road position, so okay. maybe it's better to go now than... But than he the said uh, start in two minutes. I don't know. He's starting in two minutes, okay, but... That's what he said. He didn't speak any English, so I don't know. <laughs> we can make the pace notes now? No way. Hmm? Make the pace notes? I thought you only one. Yeah? We go slow. Yeah. Okay. Stop. So we uh, moved to a different location. Uh, the stage should be. Uh, it was a bit better. Still not perfect for the rally, I think, of the impression I got from the videos. But at least it's much faster to get some corners uh, and uh, less cars. So this should be better. So I think it was a good idea to change.
So what I can do is uh, just do go a little bit into stage, turn around, come back, and then do one run proper, and then I'm happy. Yeah. See the feeling of the fresh tire. Yeah. I think it's important. Yeah. I agree. Um, we've done some runs now, getting better and better. Of course, we have to keep in mind that the rally is not as friendly as this. So. But we're trying different things with the car to get a, a bit better feeling on the dumpy section. So in case there's some uh, on the rally, that we know what direction of the car changes, which will work for the bump. So for me, the car has been a bit too stiff, you know. So. But this uh, was a big difference. So felt actually very good now. tomorrow and uh, get a good feeling for the stages watch some on boards because we can see that from last year and uh, hopefully we'll be on the pace with an important rally uh, if it wasn't for the time penalty in Lipa we will be the championship right now but we're second so it's important to to, uh, to do well here so hopefully we can lead the championship after the event We are done with the recce, now it's time for qualifying and shakedown. I think the stages here look really nice, very technical um, and uh, yeah, how should I say it, you really need to find uh, good pace notes, uh, if you can trust them and you can drive that out of them, you will be quick because it's really impossible to remember the road because everything is very similar. So um, yeah, we had a good, uh, good recce, uh, things looking good, it's all about getting a good feeling now today on the shakedown and, and qualifying. In the end, this qualifying is not so important because if you're first on the road here or 15th, doesn't really matter. Uh, the condition stays very similar. So we, uh, we but we plan to do well anyway. Uh, we do our best as we can, as always, and let's see where we end up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Rome. You know, this is where I come to chill and relax and charge batteries in my summer holiday. You know, I will give you an exclusive tour of my home. So come along. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, if there's something that's mine, it's probably a tent over there. Uh, this is some exclusive building. I think it's the courthouse. There is some really impressive architecture going on in Rome. So I really want to come back here maybe with a future girlfriend or something to spend some nice days and watch uh, some uh, nice architecture. But now it's rally and uh, we are here to pick up the car and then drive over the podium and we have stage one coming up very, very soon. But uh, impressive stuff what they made earlier. Good morning from day one. Uh, we have six stages coming up. Um, proper, proper, nice stages. Uh, I would say the second one is probably the most difficult because of the nature of its road. Uh, very fast, but at the same time twisty in the forest, very blind. 
some crests, you know, so and also a stage which everyone knows really, really well. So it will be tricky, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll just push to the maximum. We opted to go first on the road yesterday, so uh, we'll be first lead out leading the field, and then no lines for me to follow. So I just need to trust my own gut and go for it. Quite far off where we want to be. Um, struggling a lot with the feeling with the car, and the steering a lot, uh, fighting every corner. And when there's so many corners, we, we lose a lot of time. So we do a lot of changes on the car now, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good feeling. sleep now and let's try again today hopefully get a better feeling for tarmac uh, this morning and we can be able to push a bit because it's very difficult the car too much tires and we have a little bit of time up we are trying to catch as much space as possible uh, Lukianic uh, had a crash so that's good for the championship in a way it's sad for him though but uh, that means that we now have to try to push as hard as we can to get as much points as possible from this weekend so we'll try to drive flat out now in the afternoon and let's see how what we can do that we came here for uh, but I lost way too much time on day one uh, we caught up a lot today but uh, yeah sad we couldn't climb any higher I had a well I didn't have a moment I, I went off on the last stage uh, I lost 10 seconds there it's been a difficult weekend um, but uh, I think as well it's also a bit down to the preparations coming straight from Estonia 
not the proper dress before the rally and I think I needed yesterday just to drive myself a bit in on the proper tarmac stages. Today was a lot better. So. That we know for the future and uh, I will be some weeks off uh, which will be quite nice. Uh, it's been very busy lately so I'm a bit tired. Need to catch up on some sleep. A lot of late video nights so yeah I'll see you probably in Norway for the next episode. Thank you.